What is the North American Free Trade Agreement and how does it work? The North American Free Trade Agreement, or NAFTA, was signed in 1994 and established a free trade area between Canada, Mexico and the US. It's perhaps the most crucial component of the bilateral business relationship between Mexico and the United States. Under NAFTA, all quotas and taxes on US exports to Canada and Mexico were removed on the 1st of January 2008. The pact was intended to decrease trade expenses and enable North America to become a highly competitive commercial bloc on the global stage. In addition, three signature members pledged to abolish trade obstacles among them and boost investment opportunities in small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs, in Mexico, Canada and the US due to the treaty. Mexico is the United States' third biggest trade partner behind China and Canada and its second largest export market. Canada and Mexico account for around one-fourth of all US imports including processed foods, crude oil, livestock, vehicles, machinery, fresh produce and gold. The employment of millions of people in the US is supported by this commerce, both indirect and in a direct way. Except for basic telecoms, maritime and aviation, NAFTA covers all services. In addition, the Accord protects intellectual property rights in a range of industries, including copyrighted content, patents and trademarks. The NAFTA government procurement duties apply not just to products but also service contracts and construction at the federal level. Furthermore, US investments in Mexico and Canada will receive the same status as domestic investors. So what are the NAFTA provisions? The primary clauses of the North American Free Trade Agreement are as follows. Removal of non-tariff barriers. Aside from removing taxes, NAFTA signatories have pledged to expedite border processes and licensing requirements and reduce the time it takes to clear commodities. In addition, to boost commercial activity, member nations have decided to open their borders and interiors to other members. Tariff reductions for qualifying products. Before NAFTA, exported products to Mexico were subject to up to 30% tariffs, with tariffs on US made items being greater than levies on Mexican made products sent to the US. NAFTA has addressed trade imbalances by abolishing some tariffs, instantly phasing out the remaining levies over 15 years. Imports from the involved nations have been given the favoured nation designation making it illegal for any nation or provincial authority to apply taxes on them. In addition, the pact offered duty-free access to a wide range of sectors, including health management, construction, advising, engineering, industrial products, accountancy and many more. Resolving Trade Disputes The Trade Pact set criteria for dispute settlement among participating nations, firms and investors. In addition, the pact necessitates traders to follow all the treaty's rules to promote fair competition. The NAFTA Secretariat has been charged with resolving disputes between corporations. If the parties are dissatisfied with the procedure's result, the Secretariat convenes a panel to assess the disagreement and guarantee that the parties reach a friendly solution. Establishment of Standards NAFTA signatories suggested adopting industry safety and health standards. The members have also pledged to speed up border checks and export goods certifications and to stop using national standards as an obstacle to trade. According to the pact, businesses that infringed any of the agreed upon custom processes and standards criteria would suffer criminal, civil and administrative fines. Intellectual Property Rights Protection NAFTA contains provisions that strengthen intellectual property rights protection in fields like chemical manufacturing and computer software. In addition, participating nations have pledged to set laws protecting surviving members' intellectual property rights and take drastic action against industry theft. And finally, supplement agreements. NAFTA contained two major additional contracts that addressed concerns that firms would shift manufacturing and production facilities to other involved nations to take advantage of lower salaries and lax worker health and safety rules. The North American Agreement on Labor Cooperation was the first contract that shielded factory workers from job cuts. So that's just a quick snapshot of what NAFTA is and what it's designed to do. 
But you can also find out a lot more information about NAFTA by heading to our website, kalkimemedia.com. Don't forget to let us know what you'd like covered in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please share, subscribe, and of course, give us a like. And don't forget to press that bell icon to stay across the latest videos. I'm James Preston, reporting for Cowguy.